hey, hey, all right, everybody, look, I got another box. And this box has come from Engwe, and that's E-N-G-W-E, that's Engwe, and this is the EP2 Pro. Now, um, this bike is very similar to the Engine X, the way it looks, uh, and this is pulling out 960 watts peak. So it's quite a powerful e-bike, and it comes in at under a thousand pounds. So that's a lot of power and a lot of bike for under a thousand pounds. So I'll unbox it and we'll have a look what it's like. Okay, then you can see that it's, you know, it's pretty well protected. It's got all the foam around it. It's all wrapped up nice and tight and the box is quite sturdy. So it should come to your door in nice pristine condition. Uh, I'm gonna take it all apart now. It does come with a few boxes. That's the seat post there. Uh, down by there is the front mud guard. Inside there is the front steering stem. And then there's a box down there which has got a few bits and bobs in and the charger. And then there's the, the back rack there. You can see, I don't know if you can see it down there. So I'll take all these straps off, I'll take all the sponge off, and I'll get back to you in a minute. together and they do send you a little toolkit and it's got spanners and Allen's keys and a screwdriver and it's everything in there you need to put the bike together so it's nice that they send that but there it is all put together so let's have a little quick look around before I go out on a test ride and see exactly what it's like. Okay so the wheels are 20 inch with four inch wide tyres so it's nice and comfortable as you go along and you can see the wheels they're not spoked like normal spoke wheels. They're sort of a cast aluminium wheel, I think that's what exactly what they are. And I'm looking at the front ones there and I can see that they've got sealed bearings, which are, which are pretty good quality bearings. So that's the front and rear tires. And also you come in this nice rack here and you can buy, um, Engwe do sell on their website, a nice bag that'll fit this rack and the other racks on some of the Engwe bikes, um, which is quite nice as well. The front fork is lockable. I can see there's a switch here to lock and open, and I think it's an adjustable rebound there. You've got a front and rear headlight, and um, front and rear mudguards. Up on the handlebars, you've got a little bell. <laughs> you've got the plus and minus switch to the power modes. This turns it on and off. And also, if you hold this here, it does turn the front and rear light on. So that's, that's the button for the rear light on the side there. And then you've got uh, the display, which is a nice clear display. I'll put that on now. Uh, you've got your seven speed Shimano gears over here on the right hand side. And then you have your little sort of half throttle, they call it. So that's quite nice as well. I'll turn this display on in a minute now when I get the keys. And uh, you've got an adjustable here. Look, if I undo this, you have got an adjustment on there as well. So that's quite nice as well. There's actually got adjustable up and down handlebars. And you can sort of rotate these, when you do these handlebars up, you can rotate these back and forth. So that's quite nice. So there's plenty of adjustment on the handlebars and in, nice, in a nice high position for when you ride in. Now it's got a nice, lovely, comfortable seat with plenty of adjustment on the seat. And if you look by here, this is where you undo the folding mechanism. And if you unfold this, uh, the battery is housed in here and that slips out nice and easy. Uh, you can see there's a locking mechanism there. The key goes down under there, and the key goes under there, and when you put the key in, it will, if you want to turn the bike on, it goes one way and it locks, and it locks the key in there. And when you undo it, the key comes out, or you can turn it the other way, and this will unlock the battery, and you can slide the battery out of there. And in the back here, it says Tony there on the derailleur, and this is a 14 tooth to 28 tooth cogs at the back there, 
and obviously the rehab motor is housed in here and that is 750 watts nominal and peak power of 960 watts. Right, okay, if you hold this button down here on the bottom, it turns on the display. That actually turns on the whole bike. And when it comes on, it comes on zero. So this, this throttle is not going to do anything when it first comes on. And then you can turn it to one, two, three, four, and five is the, the top thing there. Um, when it was delivered, it was in kilometres an hour. And I did go into the settings. I think you've got to press the minus and plus, And it takes you into the settings and you can change things in the settings. Um, I haven't gone through all the settings, but um, like I said, it does change the settings. So I don't know how I get back to this. See if I press it again, it changes the settings again. Um, so I think I'll just, if I press that button to take me back, that takes me back then, this top button, to the main menu where you've got your miles per hour, you've got your battery levels there, you've got your power levels, and then that is your sort of trip meter that tells you overall miles per hour altogether, which is quite a nice display. I don't know how well it shows up on the, the camera. I'll bring the camera in a bit and show you a little bit closer. Okay, then you can see here now, I've got the bike in the folded up position. It folds in on itself, then the handlebars go down and fold down on itself. And this is the sort of size that it'll be when it's folded up. And it is just a little over 30 kilograms. So it's not gonna be the lightest bike in the world to lift, but it has got a, a sort of a grip there. Um, I'm not quite sure which is the best way to lift it, but I'll give it a go. I'll come by here put my hand there. I have got that mat down there because I want to protect the paintwork on the, there's a little foot that it sits on and I don't want to, I'm on gravel so it's not very nice but um, I'll grab that there, I'll grab that bit there and I'll see if I can pick it up and I can pick it up look and I'll try and put it in the back of my car now and see if it fits in the back of the car. Right okay got the bike here, I want to try and lift it up past the paintwork so I can see if I can get it in the back of the car and there we go. Let's see if it fits in there. I'll push that in that way like that. And that is the size of my boot there. Now I think I might have to drop the seat down or I'll try it like that with the seat in that position. And I'll see if that closes. If it doesn't close, and it does close, obviously that's a bit close to the glass there. So I might reposition the bike or put it maybe a, a blanket over there. Or I could even put the seats down and have loads of room. But you can see that it does fit in the back of that car like that. This is a sort of a medium sized car. And like I said, if I put the seats down, it'll go in much easier. So that's what it looks like in the back of the car. I probably could reposition it to be a little bit better, but I was just showing you what it was like to go in the back of the car. I did have to take the partial shelf out, but um, it fits in there. So I think now, the best thing to do now is jump on the bike and let's go somewhere nice and give it a nice test ride. <laughs> hey, 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 all right, everybody, out on the open road again. <laughs> and it's a little bit cold again today. Oh, it's about eight degrees, but it's a bit of a breeze. <laughs> I sound like a poet. Anyway, I'm out on the open road and I'm trying this old uh, Engui EP2 Pro. I'm putting it through his paces and um, yeah. It's, uh, it's a bit like the, um, a bit like the Engine X. It's a very, very comfortable bike. Now, um, let's see if I can do a top speed bike here as well. So we put it in number five, check behind us. And um, I've unlocked the speed on it. So let's see how fast we go. Cause everybody always asks, how fast does it go? How fast can it go, they say? But um, there we are, 25, 26 miles an hour. And that's with me on it, and I'm 86 kilo, kilos. Um, I think that's about 100, 190, 189 pounds, maybe, something like that. I don't know, 86 kilos. That's how heavy I, I am, and that's how fast it went then, 26 miles an hour. So, um, when it comes from the factory, uh, and it comes delivered to you, it is set and limited to 25 kilometers an hour. You've got to go into the settings if you want to unlock it. But the legal requirements is 25 miles per hour, or is it 28? I'm not quite sure. Uh, it's 15.5 in the UK, 15.5 miles per hour, but it's actually locked at 25 kilometers per hour when you actually put the bike on. So let's carry on down the road and see what it's like.
so like I said earlier in the video it does um, 960 watts peak that's peak power and um, it says on the um, on the website that it's 960 watts peak and I think it's um, 55 newton meters of torque coming from the hub motor at the back and the brakes seem to work well they are mechanical 160 millimeters where the discs are but uh, yeah <laughs> it's a good laugh as usual <laughs> like most e-bikes it's a good laugh the only thing that is not a good laugh is the weather's cold again <laughs> so anyway I suppose I got a problem with the cold weather I got a couple of coats on so I might look a little bit bigger than usual <laughs> I got three coats on uh, come to a hill now see if we can get up a hill okay put a little bit of pedaling in as well hey <laughs> and there we go up the hill lovely Right, okay, we'll head down to this bridge and we'll have a look at the bike again. Um, so look, I'm on power assist level 5 as usual. <laughs> but you can put it on wherever you want. Uh, when you go on to different uh, power levels, it does limit the speed as well. So it limits the power and the speed. So if I put it on 1, for instance, and I put it on full pet, uh, if I pull the throttle there, it only go to about yeah, 9 miles per hour. And if you put it on number 2, it'll go a little bit faster. So it's progressive. It is progressive. It's sort of, um, you know, the more you go through the speeds, the faster it goes. And probably a little bit more power as well. Uh, so let's have a quick look at the bike then. On this nice bridge by here. Uh, obviously this isn't part of the bike. This is something I've put on. <laughs> I'm trying to get a better angle of uh, to see me on the bike. But um, let's stand back a bit by here. And uh, it is a nice looking bike, isn't it? Nice colour as well. You've got the racing stripes. <laughs> got the racing stripes by there. It's quite a big cog in it. I can't, I can't seem to find the um, how many teeth are on that cog there. I've looked on the back. I can't see the thing. And it has got folding pedals as well, which I did forget to do when I put in the back. When I showed put in the back of the car, I did forget to show that it has got folding pedals. Uh, and like I said, I have I have bought um, this rack here. I have actually bought the bag from Angry. So I'll put a picture of the bag up uh, now in front of you. Like I'll put, I'll put it on the bike when I go home and I'll put, pick the picture up now so you can see exactly what it looks like. Uh, so if I have edited it, it properly, you would have seen what the bag looked like then. <laughs> but uh, yeah. It's a nice looking bike. I've got both the keys. If you can see down here, look, that's where the keys actually go. And they will not come out. I should have taken the other key off. But they won't come out until you turn it and then it comes out. But they lock, when it's on, it's locked in there. It can't come out, look. So, it does come in at three colours altogether. So this is the orange, obviously, that I've got. Then it comes in... Uh, a black it comes with a black colour and it comes in a like a grey grey silvery colour and both of them should have been up on, on the screen and I'll show you the colour so there's three colour choices um, and I have got an affiliate link as well so if you want to go and look at the bike please use the affiliate link in my uh, YouTube account on, in the comment section and um, it has got a nice stand let me look, look, go over this side it has got a stand as well, which is handy. A nice stand. And a rack isn't handy as well. And the only difference between this bike... Well, there's a few differences. But on the Engine X, it has got a rear shock absorber. This one is, you know, solid in the back. Suspension in the front. But with the, with the big tyres... But with the big tyres, you know, it's, uh, it's okay. It's nice and comfy. So let's carry on with the journey then. Ready? Hang about, let's put it on. <laughs> hey, full power! Right, let's go. Come on then. Here we go. <laughs> hey, right, okay. I think the sun's trying to come out. <laughs> it's been a damp old drizzly day today, but the sun's actually coming out. I think it's about half past five in the afternoon, evening, or should we call it the evening? <laughs> but the sun is trying to come out. 
Now, when you get the bike, there is one other thing. The um, the tyres come sort of partially pumped up, so you've got to pump the tyres up as well. I like to put them at 20 psi, and it says on the tyre that the maximum is 20 psi. But uh, I think it's you could have them a little bit lower, I suppose, if you wanted to. I'm blinking because there's a lot of uh, flies and gnats around. Um, and they're all flying into my helmet. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, so the tyres come partially uh, pumped up, but you do need to pump the tyres up. So make sure you've got a pump. If you're buying the bike, make sure you've got a pump at hand. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's the tyres and... Uh, oh, I still got a full battery. <laughs> that's good, isn't it? Full battery. And it is a nice bike. I do like these angry bikes, they're well made, the, the, the whole frame is aluminium, it's all made from aluminium or al aluminium or as we say in the UK, aluminium. I think it's only America who says aluminium isn't it? I think the front forks are made of steel, the mud guards they're made of steel and I think the back uh, carrying, ca carrying thing is made of steel as well. But uh, the frame is very, very sturdy. You can see it's built from quite thick aluminium, so it is quite, quite a strong frame. So let's go on down the road and do a bit more riding. Oh, there is another thing I want to point out as well. It's got cruise control. So if you hold the throttle for a certain amount of time, um, the cruise control is activated. If you pull any of the brakes or the throttle or anything again, it, um, it deactivates it. So I've been holding the throttle for a while now, and if I leave go, it keeps going. Uh, I think it's if you hold the throttle on full for a certain amount of time. I think it's I think it's either I think it's ten seconds or something like that. I'm not quite sure, but it has got cruise control because I have got to deactivate this sometimes. I got to just touch the the old touch the brake lever there, and uh, it disengages it. I have noticed a few people looking at me on this bike because it is a nice <laughs> bright orange colour and um, looks a nice bike too. So it gets a few looks and I must say the uh, mud guards are doing a fantastic job because it's only just turned spring and there's still a lot of um, moisture and mud around uh, and I haven't got any mud on me at all, it's keeping all the mud under the fenders. So yeah, it's a nice bike, It's um, it's got, you know, a nice bit of power, a nice bit of torque. Gets you where you want to go. Uh, it's got a 13 amp hour battery, so I'm not sure how many miles that would do. That'd be depending on how much you pedal, how much you use the throttle, what kind of power levels you're on, how heavy you are, if the wind's blowing towards you, if it's cold, if it's hot. There's so many variables of, uh, you know, the speed test. I mean, ideally, you need to be light on a nice day, um, you know, and that's the best way to, to actually test the speed limit, uh, speed, not speed, the um, distance, how far I go on the distance. But uh, you can see I've done 7.1 miles at the moment, and i got one battery missing. So I don't know what that'll equate to in the end. I am doing a little, little bit of pedalling now and again, because um, I don't mind doing a bit of pedalling. But like I said, if you, if you have it on one, it's going to last for ages. If you have it on five and full throttle, then it's not going to last long at all, is it? So, <laughs> so that's that's what it is. It is what it is. But anyway, uh, yes, I do like this bike. I think it's quite a nice bike, and the Engine X. They're quite a nice bike to go on a long distance on. They come with a nice, comfortable seat, and like I said, the the fat tires they really soak up the bumps and you are sitting in a very nice upright position, so it's extremely comfortable. If you like comfy bikes, then this would be the bike for you. <laughs> and I like comfy bikes. Hey, 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 so there you go. That's the Engui EP2 Pro, and it is a very nice bike, like the Engine X. That was a nice bike too. Um, so if you do take a look on the Engui website, make sure to check out my links in the description below, because there'll be a few links in there directing you to the uh, Engui website. And um, I have enjoyed riding this bike. It's a very nice bike. I'll have to put the bag on the back so I can put my camera equipment in there as well. <laughs> it's good for carrying things, good for nipping to the shops, isn't it? 
and um, like you said it does go, get quite compact so if you haven't got a lot of space you can fold it up put it in a corner somewhere put it in a small shed it does take up a lot less space when you fold it up so it's got some advantages of being a lot smaller when it's folded but anyway if you like this video go on give it a like subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Hi! <laughs>